Oh, good morning. See, I know I'm not the only one who falls asleep with the camera in their hand in selfie position, fully clothed, right? Sleeping. Healthy amounts. Is it important to? Find out more at 11. Thank you for watching Team Snack today. If you found the content... Guess what guys? Sleep is way more important than you think. So many little tiny things that can emerge from a lack of sleep continue to add up until, well, maybe we're too awesome to go on with life, you know? First off, who the hell even cares about sleep? We're so proud about our lack of sleep that we brag about it to our coworkers. Oh, you got four hours of sleep last night? Boo-hoo. Come to me when you're on a three-day bender like me. 14 five-hour energies later and you too can enjoy puffier eyes, greasier skin, moodiness, and still suffer from a layoff. The benefits to making sure your sleep is adequately long, deep, and properly timed are quite numerous. While you're sleeping, your brain and body clear out toxins. Inadequate sleep can lead to decreased memory, decision-making, and creativity. A lack of sleep, especially long-term sleep loss, can lead to the reduced ability to fight sickness, can lead to an increase in your stress hormones, an imbalance in the hormones used to regular, regulate appetite, and, in extreme cases, can even lead to death. That's right, a lack of sleep can kill you, or even worse, you can decide to text your ex again. Hey, you up. Winky face. For the torque thunder meat times amongst us, lack of sleep can be a big of uh, gains gremlin as cardio is, if that's the sort of thing you care about. Your performance, your personal records, and your reps can all suffer from a lack of sleep. Now that we've gone over the reasons to sleep well, let's go over the ways to sleep well. How much sleep do you need? According to the National Sleep Foundation, Children ages 6 to 17 need around 7 to 11 hours to sleep. Adults from ages 18 to 64 need around 6 to 10 hours of sleep. And adults 65 and older need around 5 to 9 hours of sleep. Now, just like everyone's favorite spice level in their food, of which clearly none is the superior option, uh, your individual needs may vary. It's important to experiment to see how much sleep you need. A sleep tracking app on your phone can help track your deep sleep cycles um, and this will determine your quality of sleep and uh, it helps you determine when you should go to sleep, when you should wake up to feel fully refreshed for the next day. Usually if you get less than seven hours of sleep or more than nine hours of sleep in a day, this can lead to decreased alertness, uh, increased fatigue and increase in fun things like chronic illness. On the topic of regulating the sleep itself, there's a lot of things that can help. This is the Guide to Sleep Part 4. We are starting with the diet assisting sleep. Your diet can assist your sleep with things like fructose from fruit, omega-3 fatty oils, and uh, vitamin D, which despite its name cannot be found in massive quantities in Sunny D, can assist your sleep. Avoid large meals or high glycemic carbs before bed, as these can interrupt your sleep cycles. Things like desserts can affect your body for several hours after you fall asleep. So while that spumoni at dinner may be tempting, maybe have it a little earlier in the day if that's your thing. Exposure to bright light, especially sunlight during the day, can help your natural sleep cycle. Exposure to sunlight during the day improves your sleep quality, duration, and can decrease the time that is needed to fall asleep. There's a lot of advice out there that says wake up way early in the morning so you too can be like billionaires. Hell, I spread it sometimes. But if there's any way you can start the day as the sun comes up, this will greatly help your natural sleep cycle as well. Exercise can be done in the morning, but if you're doing heavy exercise, a nap should be taken in the afternoon. So that's right, if you're going for your personal records, maybe do it four to eight hours before you fall asleep. Avoid naps for longer than 30 minutes in the afternoon, as this can kind of trick your body to thinking it's falling asleep for the night. You'll have trouble waking up, you'll probably feel tired after, and you might have trouble going to sleep later that night too. 
Sound and light can be incredibly important to your sleep too. Avoid blasting your eyes with the bright light of your phone or the bright light of a computer, just like stormtroopers avoid blasting their enemies. And if you can help it, avoid any bright light after sundown before you go to sleep. Any bright light at all. The most important thing is the blue light coming from these devices. So applications like, I believe it's called Flux, but I've never properly looked it up. Um, for your computer or apps for your smartphone, which remove the blue light at certain times of day, can help your natural sleep cycle. You might also try some glasses that block the blue light of these devices if you still need to use them after sundown. Completely blocking out light while you sleep, using blackout curtains or a sleep mask, can help avoid sleep interruptions. If you live in a noisy neighborhood, and your neighbors like to rev their shitty ricers at 2 a.m. for several hours on end, maybe get some noise generators that generate white noise, binaural beats or something like that, and get some in-the-ear earphones or headphones that completely block out the sound. Temperature while you're sleeping is important too. Increased body or room temperature can really affect your sleep quality. So if you can, try to keep your room cooler. You can use a device like the Chili Pad. Chili Pad is this really cool device that goes under you and while you sleep it pumps cool water so that your body temperature remains low. It's this really, really neat device. Caffeine can interfere with your sleep schedule as well. Trust me, I'm a caffeine expert, chugging like five or six bangs a day at this point. Um, if you can, avoid caffeine six to eight hours before your sleep because this can affect your sleep schedule as well. These are just some of the many tips on sleep. Um, one of the best guides to sleep that I've found roaming the internet is Ben Greenfield's Last Guide to Sleep That You'll Ever Need. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo, and uh, if you want, you can go check it out. Ben Greenfield is an expert on the human body. Uh, his article on sleep goes way more into what's happening while you sleep, their circadian rhythm, and tips and tricks on how to sleep and why uh, in this article. So I recommend you go check it out. Thank you for turning into Team Snack today, and if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down in the blah blah, and I will get back to you. Thank you.